We just drove 800 miles and spent $2,000 on a 5x5 abandoned storage unit. This storage unit was full of gun cases and ammo crates, so we figured it was worth the chance. Little did we know we'd be getting into a murderer's owned storage unit. Last year, we found over 25 guns in storage units. This year, we found zero so far. So you know what? I think we're due. I think we're due. I don't think that's one, but you know, it's something. We're going to slowly work our way to those cases in the back. First thing, this box right here. Is that just dirty or? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Let's slice it open and see what we got inside this box. Come on. This is, come here, come here. Ugh. One, ugh, two. What in the heck is this? It's another box inside the box. What are these? Actagaf, recreating a natural wound healing environment. I'll say, so already this guy's giving me like survivalist type vibes. You know what I mean? That's what it yeah. seems like to me. So let's put this away. When I Googled this thing, the prices were incredibly high. I don't know if I'm legally allowed to resell them, but value wise, this could be worth more than the unit. Let's just pull out this Home Depot box right here. It feels really light, but it's definitely not empty. What is that? Ooh, I like what I see. I like what I see. These are, ugh. Don't look at that. YouTube doesn't like me showing these. Right here, that is a magazine. And this is a little belt for mags for the gun right there. And if you look in here some more, we got oh, some more holders. They're not in there, only one in here so far. What is that? Whoa, what, is that? what in the world is this thing, an old radio? That's an old thing right there. Okay. And then we got a suit? Just a random suit at the bottom. Like all this military type gear, and then just, you know, a suit to look fresh when you go to war too. Little black case here. This is obviously too small to be any type of gun. This is probably some type of tool, but it could be like a cleaning kit or something, or most likely a socket wrench set, but. And I never fail to open these things upside down. Every single time. It is a little socket wrench set. Let's just put that tape back on it just like that. And drop it into the box right there. And this right here is the unfortunate part of storage units you have to find every time, which is just a horde of paperwork and random stuff like that. Little white box here. This looks like actually more of whatever that is, huh? Yeah, it's the same thing, right? Let's just open one of these, okay? Oh, there's the delivery for it. I'm just kind of curious to see what in the heck it actually is. Or are they sealed? Well, this oh. side. Yeah. Okay. So it's some type of medical stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want it to get into all that. But if they are like survivalist type things, maybe they could be worth some money as well. What about this coat here? Ooh, Elite Tactical. Is this a scope right here? Push no. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, come on. Come on. Stop doing this to me. No. That's because it's on the rifle. That's because it's on the <laughs> rifle. There is that thing. There's a scope cap. Little pieces to it to adjust it and whatnot. What is this? Is this the receipt for? How much did he pay for the scope? Let's see. Once upon a time, actually I know it just says what it is and what it weighs. It doesn't say the price, but I imagine it wasn't cheap. And this looks like it's another one of whatever those medical things are right here. It's exactly what it is. I don't know what those things are. Again, if somebody can help me out in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated because I have no idea if those are money or not. Let's go to this UPS box now. Ooh, look, another, that's a pistol case right there. I didn't even <laughs> see that one. I didn't even see that one. Let's see what's in here. This is, is this more of them? Yeah. What are these things? What in the heck are they? Really? But here's our guy's name, so. This is where things take a very dark turn. So you need to understand this part in order to get the video from this point forward. First, let me tell you, I didn't know this stuff until we got home after we had cleared out the whole unit, so yeah. First thing I do is when I find out the person's name like this is I like to do a background check on the person. But before I do that, I usually take that name and put it directly into Google to see if I get any crazy hits, you know, something crazy that happened in the area. I take this name, put it into Google, of course, with the city and stuff nearby. The first thing I get is an attempted double homicide with one death and one injured in a shooting. So I was like, hold on a second, this is kind of wild. So then I took that same name, plugged it into my background check website with the address because maybe someone else had the same name, but the address, no one's gonna have the same name with the same address. That's very unlikely. So I plugged it into there and sure enough, we got a murderer and an attempted murder charge last year on the guy that owned this unit. Now again, keep that in mind because it's gonna make more sense later on in the video. That's what I like to see. I like to look into these people because I'm really weird and nosy like that. And I like to see what they have going on. 
So let's put this guy right here. Ugh. And then, I mean, I, I gotta guess what this is. Oh, this one's a lot heavier than the others, maybe not. This one's a lot heavier. If this is the same thing, it's definitely a lot more of them. It is, but what? Okay, look, what is this? Nothing, oh, test tubes, lovely. I don't know what this is. It's, each one's got a little bit of something in it. That's kind of sketchy, can't lie. Why is this one so much heavier? Oh, these are papers. Ew. These are like wounds and stuff. Somebody's like case study on this stuff. Okay, that's that's nasty. Gobble gobble. We got a turkey decoy. Well, just the outside of a turkey decoy. I don't see the rest of the poor guy. Where's his feathers, man? He's got some holes there. He needs something. He's looking really clean right now. Oh, here's his mate. Here we go. You guys. And go together, two little turkey decoys. Best friends forever. And now let's see Ooh, what's in here. I'm just gonna pull out this. I don't wanna get to those cases yet. I wanna see those last. Oh, you see the ammo crate right there? Yeah. What an absolute beauty. What a beauty. And then we got this guy, which is a tree stand, it looks like. Is that what you think? Yeah. What is this, Gerber is some big old knife? Or yeah, this is a big old knife and a, yeah, some of these hunting supplies. And then this right here is the tree stand. This right here is just part of it. But yeah, these are decently expensive, especially hunting ones like that. This little tiny tote here, really just short, so can't imagine that's too much. But there's some, that's actually just a magazine car. I thought that was a military picture. And then these are all back to frames. Edgar Allan Poe, little block and decker tool set. Uh, what else do we have down here? A screwdriver set. There's a nice book on long range shooting. That's good to see. And this uh, quality trigger, so it's some type of trigger for a rifle. So we're seeing all the pieces for what we need to find in that safe, or not safe, but case back there. Let's just put this all back together. And what is this? That ammo, oh, it's definitely heavy. It's definitely holding down the coat top, so that's a good thing. Let's see, what is this right here? Oh, it's a, their great grandpa? That's pretty cool, I guess. Hmm. Definitely old school there. Interesting. Let's go to the tote. This one looks like more personal stuff. This looks like pictures. Yeah, just a bunch of pictures on this side. A VHS of a soccer game from 1999. Probably a kid or somebody. Um, yes, there we go. 100 bucks from Jamaica. All right, let's do it. That's gotta be at least five bucks. Hey, look. Well, I don't wanna show his face, but that looks like the, our jacket. Maybe he used their decoys right there to get these guys. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not seeing much else in here, unfortunately. Let's test the ammo crate. Let's. Well, it's not full, but it's definitely not empty. And I think there's only one thing that goes in here. Feel that weight? What do you think? I mean, based off that turkey stuff, I'm gonna get shotgun shells, because that's what it seems like. And no, we got, let's see. Uh, about a half a box of 22 LR. Actually, there's the rest of the box, I think. Look, it's done spilled all over the bottom of the ammo crate. And we got whatever the heck this is. Hunters, I'm guessing, help me. Maybe it's the redo ammo. Then in here, we got a fresh pack of 22 LR and a bunch of loose 22 ammo down there as well. So, I mean, 22 is like the, probably the cheapest rifle you can get, but I don't care what kind of rifle it is. If it's a rifle, I'm happy. Let's go to the clear tote over here. By the way, oh my gosh, this one's so heavy. You better thumbs up, leave this video a like right now, and subscribe. We drove 800 miles to buy storage. You know, we might have guns for you guys as entertainment. Please give us a thumbs up. Yes, this is what we came for. iPhone 4 box, right here. Come on, open up, open up. No, just cards and random things. There's some random sports cards in here, actually. Make sure there's nothing Converse. Hmm, a Magic Johnson and a Carl Malone one. That's kind of random, but okay. This looks like the box of a PDW stock, but it's not in there. Again, to like the scope, it's not in there because you know, it's on the rifle back there, obviously. Photo album, what about in here? Hey look, it's a thing we, oh no, I thought that was a thing that holds your phone that we just had to buy it. Sort of. This has a lot of stuff in it. I'm just gonna dump this out. A lot of batteries? It looks like a lot of batteries. Okay, that's kind of random. Bunch of batteries, more pictures, more pictures. And more pictures. Let's see if I can move the camera without disturbing the cases because I need you guys to be as dramatic with feeling as I'm feeling when we get to that. Mm -hmm. That's for absolute last. This is some hunting pants right there. Brand is Arctic Shield. I don't know if that's a good brand or not. Hunters in the comments, let me know. This one, slowly, slowly. 
Do not disturb. Ooh, there's one, two, three rifles in one pistol case back there. Right. Okay, this right here is the other part of the Arctic set there. So just more hunting camo. So this looks like a nice shooting tripod too. Exactly what it looks like. A Caldwell Deadshot field pod. So it's basically like a tripod, except you know, you can rest your rifle on there and get a very accurate shot. Some of these can go for a lot of money. I'm not sure about that brand though. Did I go to the blue tote or the clear and white tote? Blue. Blue. Fair enough. Ugh, a little heavy. Let's see. It's, well, yeah, we, we knew this was coming too. Every unit, you're guaranteed at least a minimum of one tote of clothes and one bag of paperwork, which I guaranteed by law, I think. Make sure you feel, though. Oh, I'm gonna feel everything. I'm gonna make sure we go through every little piece before it's donated away. But most of the pre-owned clothes like this, we do just donate, and from first glance, yeah, I don't see anything in there. White tote now. Oh, this one's heavy, come here. Oh, let's see what's in here. That's a duct tape shut? Mm -hmm. Why you do that? Ooh. Okay, there's another optic box that's not on there because again it's obviously sitting on the rifles behind it this right here is a what o light let's see what that is open up oh that's a bright flashlight ain't it yeah geez ready no okay it doesn't work right now battery's probably dead but that's a big flashlight well, right there he had plenty of batteries in the other yeah that's very true too here is a couple of rifle rests so that's a good sign what about this down here it's another scope isn't it it sure is a lucid optics rifle scope but again it's empty. Three scope boxes, three rifle cases. <laughs> Everything adds up. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look back here. We got us a little bit of medium game cartridges right here. It's a uh, 30-06 in there. That's full. And then we got, let's see, some random stuff in here. I don't really know what those are. It looks like Calls, spikes. maybe? What? That board thing, probably a call. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, this? Yeah. Some of these vintage calls are actually worth money. I don't even know how to, there you go. This is a Woodworks Mystic No Chalk, is what it says in the back. All right, there's some gloves. And what else do we have down here? This, I'm gonna guess these are tools to like take apart a gun. No, actually it's like a drill headset. That's different. Mm -hmm. Then what if we go to this side over here? There is a bidet. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got the new Bible, some work. Uh, what is this? This is a sight vise, maybe again, like another type of rest, uh, rifle rest. I'm not allowed to show that. This is actually a 20 round magazine. Cause you know, can't say 30. Here is a bunch of little pieces to something for sure. And that looks like just about it for this tote, but I like what it's set showing. Well, I didn't want to go to these cases until the end, but it looks like I'm kind of forced to go into at least one. Let's go to the pistol case. This one, eh, there's something in there. What is, I keep saying, it feels really light, but then again, you know, a pistol only weighs a couple pounds on average. What does that so. say? That says gun guard. Let's see, please, please don't look. Oh no. What about under, what is this? Oh, what is all this stuff? Just a bunch of pieces and like a little, looks like a pistol grip right there. And then mm, a bunch of random stuff, but I also, want to pull the top one off because there could be something under there. No, not this time, just pieces. Because I like to be dramatic, I'm just gonna try to leave those cases right there. And I want to pull up this toolbox here. Ugh, nice husky box. Let's see what's inside this guy. I'm gonna guess the tools. Well, not many tools, but wrench, plier, or whatever, screwdriver, razor blade, and bar, and few little random tools underneath. That crowbar would have been really nice if there's a safe in here. You know, there's a few closed totes so we don't know what's in there. It could be like a little mini safe in one of those. And if there is, at least we have a crowbar now. Now we'll pull out this tote from right underneath those cases. Come on. This one definitely looks random too. It's got a lot of weight to it. Okay, look. I thought that was a safe. I was about to say, well, I'm good at this. Here is a passport. All right, there's that. This here. Ooh. That looks interesting. Let's see what this is. This is, what the heck, what was it, I guess is more of the question. This is really weird looking. I don't even know what this was. Maybe a watch box at one point. Kind of random, but okay. That, let's put it up here. Here is another box of, uh, these are 35 Remingtons and that's a full box. That's a good sign. There is, well, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I want to know. 
And then we got some random little things down here. Let's go to this side where I see more. What is that? Primary arm special tube offset mount. That's a good sign. In here, what is this? Look, this is a hand guard rail. I feel like it's in there. Yeah, we do have the hand guard rail. That's a good sign. A grip right there. Uh, let's see. Ooh, here is, looks like a sight. This feels like it might be in there. Uh, red dot sight, it looks like. These are really light, so it's possible. Oh, look. The, oh, no, it's just the mounting piece, isn't it? The actual sight's not in there. This is just the underneath piece. Where is the actual sight at? Is this it? No. What about this? No, dang it. The actual sight, the mounting hardware is in there, but the sight isn't. Maybe it's on a rifle. Um, let's see. What else is over here? Definitely got some randomness down in here. What is this? Come here. Uh, aiming solution? It's nothing. It's just a booklet of something, so that. And then we have another lock down there. This guy, papers, papers. What about over here? Yeah, nothing else too crazy in this guy. I just slid this toad out from the corner and it's by far the heaviest one of the units so far. Let's see. Okay, well, I guess that's the handle off of another tote. Let's see what's in here. Well, first off, feathers. there are the turkey's feathers right here. So now the turkeys won't look so freaking plain. This guy here, what is that? Colt. Ooh, is it a pistol? The weight actually feels good. Oh, it's. Ah, oh, there is a magazine <laughs> for it, but no pistol in there. Okay, maybe it's somewhere else in here. Let's see. This is a Krups, a laptop here. Oh, a nice little bucks rat or antlers right there. Part of the skull still attached. Look at him. That's a nice deer. <laughs> and then we got a big old holy Bible here. Is this one of the ones that are cut out and there's like a handgun inside, you know? No, not that I see. What about this one? No, not that I see either. Over here, ooh, classified. That's what I want to see. Oh. That's actually, he actually used all this. I feel like I've never seen one of these actually used. These are more family pictures. Uh, this is somebody's long suffering, maybe military award. I don't want to show it. Well, I think I know what this is. Probably shouldn't show that either. And then we got glasses container. Oh, there are some glasses in there. At least there's that. If we go over here some more, let's keep going. What's this? That looks like a pipe. It actually is. It's actually a pipe. What is this though? Something's in here. That's another pipe. Is this a wallet in there with the pipe? Oh, no, that's whatever they were smoking out of it. So there's that. What about this? No. Come on. There's got to be something else randomly cool over here. A Bible. A few more. It looks like another call maybe. Or this is a knife. Oh, it's a knife sharpener. My bad. A knife. And look how many pipes are down there. One, two, three, like I never found a pipe before, yet alone like five and one single tote. That's pretty random. There's two more clear totes and one gray tote that we can't see into, but unfortunately, we're gonna have to open one of these. I'm gonna go with the one that's like already partially opened. Okay. And see, mm, mm, it's heavy, but I don't think it's heavy enough. Mm, let's see. Well, it is nothing other than padding unfortunately i don't think there'd be a rifle hidden under there <laughs> you never know but yeah this one here is empty but it was the only one that was open so the other ones are closed maybe that means stop it maybe that means they got what we came for here this guy come on mm, feels heavier than that one i don't know if it's a better brand or it's got something nice in it let's see oh i'm gonna just slide it and slide it you ready <clears throat> oh no how do i open it what the heck? Oh, this one, there's three. And, oh, come on. <laughs> what the heck are you doing to me? Stop trolling me. Why won't it open? It's this one right here that's keeping it shut. Oh, but look, it's all the way over. It slide that this way. Like that? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, an empty case. Dang it. Okay, you know what? That's okay, that's okay. I still have one more chance. It, I'm not out until there's three strikes, okay? Three strikes you're out, not two strikes. And then no matter what, we still have other stuff to check, yeah, so we don't no, know what's we in do. there. And this one, well, also unfortunately empty. You know why they're all empty, right? It's because huh. they're folded up in the carpet, obviously. <laughs> That's why. Let's see this right here. What's in this bag? Oh, more hunting clothes, huh? 
hunting camo and some random like medications and powders and things like that but there's also a couple pockets in the front here let's open these guys up and see nothing and nothing on the side so mostly just an empty bag what'd you do with my brothers man where's the rest of me i'm just a poor lonely turkey go with your friends over there all right now i'm gonna take this whole thing out right here and put it on top of this tote okay these are some springs that look like they're Definitely some type of gun parts. It's Springco recoil solutions. And this one's for an M16 or AR-15 rifle buffer spring. And there's like five or six of those in there. And there's also this guy, which is a advanced receiver extension. Okay, and that's definitely in there. So we have some more gun parts. What about this here? What is that, a heater? I think that's just a heater. Right carpet, come on. Oh, why is it heavy though, actually? This isn't carpet, I don't know what this is. It's really heavy. It's got like a an electric piece right there that plugs in for something. I don't know what in the heck this thing is, but I know it's not carpet. I know it's way too heavy. Listen to this. Yeah, whatever that is, it's heavy. There's like sand in the bottom. Weird. Let's go in here. Some bathroom stuff. Not that. Just regular everyday bathroom stuff. And then let's get this tote out the way. I'll put it just right here. Let's go through the gray tote that we can't see inside of where all of the loaded pistols are, obviously. Uh, maybe. Well, oh, there is ammo in here. Hey. Okay, let's check this out. That's a box, full box of Winchester 30 all six. That's a good sign. And here is, well, let's see, let's put this aside first. Then inside we got, oh, come here. A little book with something in it. What is this in it? Names and phone numbers? Okay, just that. And then we got some medication, more medication, and some pills. Over here, laptop case yeah but no laptop in it just papers unfortunately then if we pull this out some more we can see a goku color cool or er, cooler that's a good thing that was a little annoying this is just some paper bags there's a lot of these universal loading trays in here i guess to reload your own ammo if you want to and i guess these are already fired because that's probably what he was doing is reloading them yeah, these are already fired rounds to be reloaded. This right here, what is this? Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't really want to open it, because I don't know. A little bag here comes in the mail. What do we got in here? Uh, well, I got a USB drive. I'm kind of curious. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. There's actually four USB drives in here. Look at this. That's suspicious, and I'm kind of curious to see. I want to look at all those. And what is this thing right here? A little bit more. This foot thing, a tech energy. Not too sure what the heck that thing is. And then we got us a little index finger bump. Oh, it's a bump, bump stock thing. Well, nothing in that one. One more tote to go. Before I show you that last tote, remember earlier I said that the police charge will make sense later in the video? Why do you think those cases are empty? This unit has obviously already been confiscated slash raided by the police department. That's why there's no weapons left in there, only the ammunition. Nobody would come in and take their weapons out and say, let's just leave the ammo behind. Nobody's gonna do that. This unit has obviously already been raided by police. Last tote in the corner. Well, I see a cast iron can, at least there's that, and a bunch of papers, and a bunch more papers, and yeah, we're not seeing too much in here. Uh, there is, at least we have some more ammo, uh, 9mm, Hormandy, other good rounds, at least there's that. Overall, was this worth $2,000? Not at all. But then we have a fun trip to Florida. We did, you can't put a price on that. Click the link below the video to see our awesome store. You can even choose your color. Go to all designs. We have a bunch of different ones and a bunch of different products for each one. Everything you buy helps support us. Thanks for watching.